Hi, I'm Scorpio Simmer. This is where I make creative sims, sim stories, reviews, and top tens. Could you care? Um, this is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Watch your back, season five, episode five. Um, I was saying that um, they were in the um, the place, and Jocelyn and Carly Brad. She was holding this envelope over her hands. And um, I personally thought it was about her age or her child, but who really knows what it was about because she actually didn't even tell us what it was, so we didn't even get to see. And then the next part is we get to see Kelsey, Kirk's daughter, rapping. Now, I didn't really, you know, really care for it, but I wanted to know what did you all think of her rapping? Um, Rashida says, and then after she's done, Rashida says that she needs to work on her stage presence and work on projecting her voice because she has that little mousy voice that she says that is going to take some getting used to. I like that other chick from um, because I haven't been reviewing, but I have been watching. And um, kind of want to just get back to watching, so I might stop reviewing um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta for at least another episode. So. Can I look at my last review that I did? The girl with the annoying voice. Anyways, yeah, her. Um, and then Jocelyn wants to invite everyone to her premiere party for her music video. Even though Jocelyn has stopped fighting, she's getting, she's still a little manipulative. And her ways, as you as you all have seen later on in the episodes, and she's become. Oh, I already said that, but she dropped a bomb that. Well, she thinks that KK and Stevie had relations, but Stevie assures his wife that they haven't. And then we see Mimi and Jocelyn go furniture shopping for Mimi's new house. Mimi says that she's not giving her address to her house, but she can tag along to pick uh, out furniture with her. And it's sure is nice to see them picking out furniture, but I get it. Mimi wants them to get along for the for the sake of her daughter Eva. And then while they're at the furniture place, um, they look at KK's records, they see that she was on America's Most Wanted, and they see her mug shots and all that. And then we see Tommy, no, not, not Tommy, that's later. And then we see Scrap and, um, Scrap and his little brother, he's trying to help him out with his song, I'm a dog or whatever, I'm a dog. Weird song, well, at least to me anyway. And... Yeah, that is part right. And Scrap needs to pick one woman, Tommy or Tira. He really needs to make a choice. I mean, he wants to see his son, right? The problem solved with the woman issue. And then do we see Chris and Mimi? And Chris says she or well, I'm just gonna call it she. She is uncomfortable with a party with a lot of girls. And Tommy hears about the third, the third chick that he's been messing around with for a year, and she goes tearing through the place like a fool. No offense, Tommy. And then Scrap says he didn't know what she was talking about, and she goes tearing through the place. And she was losing it for no reason because I guess there wasn't a chick or there is a chick. I don't know. Maybe Tommy and Jocelyn are messing with her for no apparent reason. And Tommy almost gets into this truck and the producers are like, no, just go, just go. And the truck goes. And the guys are playing paintball and talking, just talking about what um, Jocelyn had said and yada yada. And then everyone is at her house filming, but 
Um, then we go to Mimi's house and everyone is at her house warming but Jocelyn because jo um, Mimi is like, it's either I invite Mimi, I mean, not invite Mimi, what am I talking about? It's either Mimi is like, it's either I invite Jocelyn, it's just me and Jocelyn there, or I could invite my girls and we are all there. And she invites some old friends and some new friends and she invites Tiara and they're all talking and um, Wiz Khalifa's wife, um, I forgot her name. Hey girl. And um yeah. And then Jocelyn's having her video release party. The video of Jocelyn turned out so beautiful. And Mimi convinced Chris to come. And then I guess Jocelyn tries to get all into their sexual business like Arian did before, which was totally and completely wrong. And everyone is talking about Jocelyn and saying that Stevie, J and KK slept together. That pretty much took up most of the episode. And yeah, and um... Oh, I mean, uh, sorry, that's next time. Next time, everyone is talking about how Jocelyn is saying that Stevie, J and KK slept together. And Tommy and Jocelyn might fight. And there's just so much to see. So I will hopefully see you all next time. If not, then I'll see you guys the episode after that. Because this is the type of show I like to watch if I just wanted to try to review it. To see if I could just give a hand at it. Otherwise, you'll just see me review Shots of Sunset for now on. Because this is just the type of show I like to watch not review. So, bye. Don't forget to write, comment, and subscribe.